MacGyver-like prison break. This? I'm assuming it's this thing. This inbred man better be extremely good at breaking out of prison. I decided to stay behind when the other inmates went to recreation. So I could spend more time working on the wall. Thanks for the reset, Ghost. Have you seen Silent Shot Library or I anything by Gaki no Tsukai? EA their Nobody new year zips. You would love them. I love their Batsu games. We never Absolutely love their Batsu games. I was sheriff. There's never been an inmate since the facility was built that ever got out <gasps> not digging through the walls. Ron Nichols, the iron dick of the law? No one's ever broken out of his prison. Thanks for the prime toasty. Pretty soon after I started digging, I encountered a problem. Thanks, Sleepy. There was some thick, heavy gauze wire mesh Thanks for the prime between retro. the cinder blocks. I hate true I TV shit. I already had blisters and sore spots on my hand. And then I discovered that some of the holes that went through the center of the cinder blocks were poured solid with concrete. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's a fucking concrete wall. I filled those areas back in and moved to the next block over. With what? Where did he get the the paint? Or is it tooth? I guess it's toothpaste that he might have mixed with urine or something to get the right hue. Sometimes the stress was almost unbearable. I was either going to get the death penalty, spend the rest of my life in prison, mm. or escape and live in hiding for the rest of my life. What a life to live. Either way, I knew my life with my kids and my family was over. No. I'd never have that again. What the fuck did this guy do? I tried not to be overwhelmed by what I was losing, and what I was putting my loved ones through. Was he arrested for a really shitty hairstyle or something? What was his crime? I always tried to block it out, not think no, too I haven't much played about RuneScape in a long time. By trying to stay focused on my plan. I was finally making headway. But this gave me a new problem. My tool was too short. To dig deeper, I'd have to find a way to splice the slats together into a longer tool. Oh, that's going to be an interesting conundrum. Do it in commissary. But I did pick up some other things I thought would come in handy. This is kind of interesting. Then I took a look at the cleaning supplies. I noticed the brooms had steel tie wire wrapped around them. Oh, the bristles were attached to the wooden handle. Huge mistake. I used the tie wire to splice some slats together. Lapping over each other an inch or so. Then I bent one end into an L shape for a handle to make it easier on my hands. Jesus, this guy's a fucking genius. Now well, I not really. If he was, he wouldn't like have been drill. caught. And the digging went much quicker after that. Thanks for the prime daddy A to you. I realized I'd have to backfill the holes with something to keep from having to fill it entirely with my limited mix of toothpaste. Holy shit. So I made sticks of paper mache using toilet paper. Wetting it, shaping it, and letting it dry. I spent a lot of time back in jail. Wow. And, uh, I never had any reports that there was an issue with John Parsons. And Thanks to the fact, Prime APK. Uh, even the clergy was meeting with him, and uh, he was accepting uh, God, and that he wanted to change Well, God must life. have told him to get the fuck out of there or something, because this man's possessed. Finally, a month after I'd started... I dug enough to get the cinder block loose. I pulled it out. Thanks for the resub fear. I could see a layer of red brick, and I knew that on the other side of that layer was freedom. Was his cell on like the there outside? Is no possible way you have seen this one. A thousand year <laughs> solo, saxophone, vocaloid. With shit music, I promise a good laugh. Oh, that sounds like a shit laugh. Is this the whole episode? Oh, this is definitely the whole episode. I have to know how the fuck he gets out. I shot a police officer. And I was in jail oh, that's what he for did. my trial. There was no question that he was going to face the death penalty. My only chance of staying alive. I don't care about the escape. lore up till this point. How did he get, get out over of the wall in the wreck area? Where did we leave off? Of what I've been. The wire. 
I don't remember where we... I reassembled the pole. What? Oh god, I've blocked. I ruined it. With. Not removed, but but tampered with. And we put it down, we make out a work order, turn it into maintenance. Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay. I pulled it out. I've gotta see the thrilling conclusion to this escape. Thanks to the resub calico and scrappy. Red brick, and I knew that on the other side of that layer was freedom. So his cell must have been like right on the outside of the prison, right? After the new paint job, some of the deputies became a lot more prickly about any specks of dirt on the walls. Here's the reason Justine. Was a new deputy. He seemed to be really picky and pussy about anything being dusty or dirty. <laughs> Thanks to the Prime Lincoln. One day he came around early. Inspection. And the little one-inch-wide hole I just made and patched in was still kind of wet. Ooh. Had a bit of dust from the mortar on it. He's fucked. This man's gonna lick the walls to taste for any inconsistencies. This man can sense grime from a mile away. The deputy noticed that little spot. Touched it. And then he pointed to a different I had brick. No idea that right beside that one inch spot was a loose block. My digging and patching materials hidden inside. Thanks to the prime, Nick. Looks like someone's been digging here. Oh! Salutations, critical of the moist might. I recommend the Darth Vader fan film from Star Wars. I've seen it. It is pretty moist. Face. Not show the panic I was feeling. Months of work. That's when I said, "No, they're not." And he believed me. I felt like my heart was pounding out of my chest. And I was Thanks for the tier one hazer. It all hinges on this line. Be good if you get someone to fix it. I don't want to get blamed for it. That was an IQ. Yeah, officer. Maintenance to come in and Pussy. Take a look. Why would he just believe that? <laughs> Looks like someone's been digging in here. Are you throwing parties in this cell without inviting me? I'm writing you up. This was on a Friday, and I knew that by Monday afternoon someone would come and look at that wall. And I'd be in the hole. That did not leave me enough time to get through the rest of the wall. Just get really strong and punch Definitely the wall out. He said that it would appear that some of the mortar around some of the blocks have been tampered with. Not removed, but, but tampered with. And we put it down, we'd make out a work order, turn it into maintenance. It was placed in the jail log of the observation of this, the correction officer. I'd spent God months damn. on this plan. Jesus, OG. And now I had 48 hours Congrats on the weight loss, by the way. Different escape. Escaping during recreation was the only other choice I had. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> underwhelming. That's the most basic bitch way of escaping. I a spot on the roof where I could slide down to a lower section and follow my original escape route. That doesn't take a genius to come up with. Hey, when they let me go play basketball, what if I, but if I jump the fence? If I to reach the top of the wall, the razor wire would be an obstruction. Preventing me from being able to reach the fence behind it. I could use the metal slats to solve the problem. I had about 20 in my wall. I bent them into S shapes. I ripped up the shapes. Okay, this is a little better. Rope, then attached the hooks to pieces of the rope. I'd use them to pin back the razor wire so it wouldn't snag me. It's pretty smart. It's pretty fucking smart. I also braided a rope ladder that would hang from a hook from the fence with a band of newspaper to stiffen the steps. Wait, where the fuck did he get duct tape? <laughs> they literally gave him the tools to escape. I needed a pole to hoist the ladder up. I used what was this, like a challenge to the prisoners? Can you escape using only five toothpicks, a piece of gum, and my old porn magazine? On what would be the top section of the pole, I rigged an arm coming out off the tip of it, at an angle of about 120 degrees. I, 
I don't- he must- so he stole it from maintenance, I'm assuming, right? That's the only way that makes any sense at all. Thanks to the Prime Unbreakable and the Resub Baddie on side. I didn't see that. I stayed awake, knowing it was going Glad to be you enjoyed the bit so bonuses. Many out there, and a camera and deputies that could spot me so easily. He has... This guy's got like an entire year's worth of By newspaper. Morning, I had everything together. And duct tape. And I was tape. ready for them to let us go to recreation. Damn. I put my red clothes on top of my blue clothes. And after lots of adjustments and tying stuff to my legs and torso, I was able to conceal my ladder, straps, and sections of the what? inside my clothes without it being <laughs> too noticeable. This man's putting everything shy of a PlayStation 4 in his jacket there. I also stole the deputy's keys to the car for my escape. The, desk was the, first step. the most difficult portion, though, was taking the microwave with me. I, I wasn't leaving prison without it. it. Search me. Thanks for the resub, Battlefield. Hey, what do you got there? You can't take anything into the yard. That's what you think. Wait until you see this man's clown car of a jacket. This is my one chance. On Monday, they will discover what I've been doing and they'll put me back in solitary and I'll stay there until I get convicted. This is super interesting. So I'm assuming this is all a real story. Otherwise, this would make no sense to just make this whole thing up. was out in the wreck yard. That's not a this yard, that's a court. Challenge began. Horrible shooting form on that guy out, back there. And I knew if I got away, it would be in the first 10 minutes while they were still busy with paperwork. There were two ways I could be spotted. Either Let's get some hustle. He's looking through the window onto the wreck area or on CCTV camera. But I was pretty sure that the camera would Thanks have the a blind spot. Beast. Deputies couldn't see the entire wreck area from behind the desk. The best spot was right above the camera, where I figured neither the camera nor the deputies could see me. But the razor wire there was grouped into a tighter pattern with little gaps. How how in the fuck did he analyze the this all so quickly? Gaps in the razor wire. So he has sub ten minutes to complete this speed run, and he's already climb. analyzed every possible route. I was pretty sure it was in view of the camera. He's a genius. I was real close to being inside of the deputies. I decided to try the first spot. I went around all the prisoners and told them what I was doing. Keep your mouth shut. And not to snitch on me. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, don't snitch on me. What does that make me want to do? Snitch on you, pussy. Ladder to the end. If I'm not getting out, you're not getting out. Fuck that. And lifted it up. But after several tries, I decided the grouping of razor wire there was too tight. Thanks for the resub, ABD. And I couldn't get through to the fence. This was the only safe spot, and now it was out of the question. Now I was worried. His plan's not dumb anymore. Now, now I get it. He's in the other spot. And it was in full view of the camera. Oh, he's panicking. This was one of the most nervous times of my life. Knowing how easily I could be caught. What are they doing over there? Like, why aren't they looking out at any point? Playing like a fucking round of League of Legends or something over that computer. Good evening, Papa Moy. My boyfriend says I'm cutting him with you given how often I watch your streams. Aww. I reassembled Keep the up pole. the good work, smiley face. Appreciate that, thank you. Thanks for the resub, Pyro. And after a few tries, I was able to hook the ladder to the fence. Hey, 
How did this guy not die of a heart up. attack? I climbed up. I don't know. I, how the fuck did that towel to hang on, rope not die of hands to work overweightness? And make an opening. I cannot believe that didn't split apart. Then my prison uniform got snagged. So I had to leave it hanging there. What a waste. Like a red flag. As if they wouldn't know. Thanks for the resub, Mike. I was finally on the roof of the jail. The hardest part of the escape was over. That's what you think. But the, the security guards had already baby-oiled the roof and he slid the right off and died. The soles of my jail shoes were thin. It would be like dropping 20 feet barefoot. But I had no choice. I jumped. <laughs> and vanished. John Parsons has escaped from jail in Ross County, Ohio. He is now on the run. 20 feet's not was that like, bad, uh, right? That's like... On Saturday that I got a call that there was an escape at the county jail. What is that? Second story? Buzzing and some change on most places? Parsons. Disbelief. Angered. It would hurt, but it's not the worst thing in the happen? world. Why did it happen? All these things was gone through my mind. Angry. Shocked. Uh, you know. Uh, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that John Parsons had got out of jail. There was a lot of luck. And even more so, I couldn't John believe that he had went from jail right to my house to fuck my wife. Was a diversion I was stunned. Jail to draw the attention of this, the, the other CEO. We believe John Parsons made his daring escape at that particular time. Also, the camera out in the wreck area was, uh, was just a outdated camera. Sometimes mm. it worked, sometimes it didn't. <laughs> That's safe. And luck was on his side. <laughs> We put a camera up there for show. We didn't think anyone would try to get the there fuck was a out. Note left behind, Unbelievable. Towards me, said, "Bye, Ron." I can only take that on John trying to be, you know, humorous. It's pretty humorous, though, Ron. He thought it was funny, I suppose. Ron, that's that's a good joke. That's pretty good. I thought he was out. Like of the, the Joker's state. calling we card in Batman universe. There was probably. Uh, anywhere from resub, 45 Fisherman minutes to an hour and Jose. between the time that he actually escaped. It's a different genre, but it's, it goes pretty hard. Made. It's a heavy one. My plan was to leave the country. But the person who was supposed to give me a ride out of town let me down. Oh. I needed to leave the area as fast as possible. <clears throat> Thanks to the Prime so Game Girl. I stole girl. bike and started heading the seven miles towards Frankfurt, where I used to live. I knew the cops would be there soon, but I had no choice. I needed help. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Lion. To make things worse, I had broken my foot so I could barely pedal. That sounds about right. When I came to a hill, I had to get off the bike and push. I was getting ready to go down to Carter to Lumber to pick some lumber up. So I got in the truck, went down over the hill. And oh, he picks a him up? pushing a bicycle up with a t-shirt wrapped around his head. Well, it was kind of warm that day. But he, he turned his head away from me. Why? I, past him. I said, ah, this don't seem right. What? Well, that's... Yeah, he's drawing attention to himself with that kind of and, stupid uh, shit. My boy was mowing grass. Thanks to the tier one Sambo in the prime tank. I told him, I said, uh, did you see the guy that escaped from Ross County Jail? I think I just seen him coming up the road. I think he's coming right over that hill. All that work just to get caught by the redneck Avengers. So we stood there for. I mean, minutes. to be fair, this criminal seems like a bad guy. Yeah, Fucking shot people, but he came up that's a lot of work to just be undone like that. Job, and then all of a sudden, he looked up, and as soon as he looked up, he knew we was watching. So my boy took off running down there where he'd went in the woods. Off the side of the road. Scott got on his cell phone right then and called 911. But by that point, it was too late. John had already transmogrified into a tree. The first time I ran for my house, lights and siren in my car. 
We responded immediately to that scene and were at the exact location where John Parsons had went into the woods off this bicycle. We could secure the perimeter just because that was the perimeter was the roads that, that encircled it. We literally put a ring of steel around a three mile area. That's a cool title, Ring of Steel, it was eh? Probably some of the most rugged terrain in, in Ross County. Uh, but we felt we probably had a pretty good shot at him. I mean, his foot is broken. Yeah. I had a head start on him. Soon I could hear the bloodhounds and helicopters approaching. So I was trying to keep moving as fast as I could while doing as much backtracking and zigzagging as I could. Throw the hounds off. Smart. Jesus, this man knows everything. We gridded off at the area and did skirmish lines and went down through the woods inch by inch looking for John Parsons. I felt that John Parsons would not be taken alive. I, I honestly felt we would end up, or somebody would end, up, would end up killing John Parsons in a shootout. A shootout? He doesn't have a gun. Well, I guess I they don't know the that. They're not watching the television show like I am. Bikes or dogs barking. Pretty soon that forced me into a bottleneck. I knew I couldn't cross any fields, or I'd be spotted in the open. You know, to be fair, this was such a fucking stupid plan once he got out of prison to take a bike and ride on a I road as they're pulling out an APB telling all of the citizens to look out for an escaped convict, and he's wearing his fucking prison shit around him? Like, I don't know what he's thinking. Feet apart he should have just gone through, like, the woods. Instead of on the he road, would get out into the open air that somebody, an officer, would see him. Oh, you're right. He did say someone was supposed to drive him. And at least two helicopters circling over. We brought in some helicopters. Thanks for resub, uh, Thermal imaging devices. If this would have been October, I November, remember as well, where the leaves were off the trees and all that, uh, it'd have been over within an hour. It just the, the the visibility was zero once you got under the the foliage and that foiled the infrared stuff and he knew it john parsons knew that by the time i reached the wood line along route 28 there was too much law enforcement that's the resub television i had no choice but to look for a good place to hide and hope they didn't find me while i waited for the right moment to cross first 36 hours of that i never went home 36 and hours that, uh, I'd go home, take a shower, get it four or five hours. Holy sleep, shit, John! Right back out there. Uh, this man went woods. full bear grills out there, probably drinking his urine, eating poop and shit. Temperatures in the wood there probably 110 degrees or hotter, maybe. Thanks to the prime load. You loading. can only work the dogs maybe 30 to 45 minutes. You had to bring them out of the field, mm -hmm. cool them down. They're turning this into like a fucking a tailgating party at a football game. Then we had the catering company come through and a couple strippers and some blow and then, he, you know, we just kind of forgot about John. He's probably still out in the woods. I hadn't had anything to drink since the escape. I had to come out of my hiding spot and find water. I was having trouble even thinking straight. I knew it was a huge risk, but I was desperate. I was eating worms. Big move. Big move. That night, Thanks after the midnight bagel. sometime, I started moving along the wood line, trying to find a gap in the vehicles where I could cross Route 28. I began keeping count on how long between each pass of helicopter or plane. Is he wearing a shirt right now? Where did he get that in the forest? Did he make At it? That time, it was averaging about forty. Is he going primitive technology out there and building his own society? He was definitely wearing a shirt in that shot. Now there was no turning back. The shirt on his head was white, though. That was a gray shirt. I sat there until it At least that's like what it looks like. Maybe I'm wrong. And, above. and then I ran. Oh! I couldn't believe it. I'd made it across without being seen. I can't believe it either. I knew they weren't Are these video game up. NPCs? Are you kidding me? This guy just ran across a fucking road. The entire world was trying to hunt me down. We felt that at 72 the hours, we had gotten out of the So we used every asset we had to, to try to pin him in. 
We just didn't get the job done. That's embarrassing. There was only one place he was going to go, and that was family. So we started uh, doing some intense surveillance and interrogation of the family. All his friends and, you know, even some of his relatives are saying that, that you know, he was an outdoorsman. We learned that his mother had a tent and some other items set up on their back porch that John was supposed to come in and pick up. And oh. He never came in to got it. That's huge. What a nice After mom. I had gotten through the perimeter, I realized I'd been bit by something. Uh-oh. It looked a lot like a brown recluse spider bite. <laughs> what? Was that one of the police? Was that the police's ace up their sleeve? Sick the brown recluse on him. I needed antibiotics. How the fuck? I had one friend who had access to drugs and medical supplies. Thanks to the prime loving pup in the resub. Monet. I had no choice. I had to head back into enemy territory where it seemed that every living person was out to get me. God damn. I found a place where I could hold up for a while. My friend brought me antibiotics to treat the infection and some other medical supplies to clean the wounds with. How does he even know it's a brown recluse? It could have been a werewolf. Like that, a full moon might come out and John might just completely transform him. We know that guy. We offered a substantial amount of reward money. I don't care how loyal to you are to somebody. Thanks to the prime vintage. You offer them a hundred thousand dollars, they're gonna turn you in. You bet your sweet ass I would. For that. Well. Sheriff Nichols. We got a call from a resident. Right. No. Said they spotted John Parson on Three Locks Road at a, an old abandoned cabin. Thank you for the call. We'll be there shortly. We immediately sent responded with officers going that area. Oh, baby. Eugene's coming in hot. We were going to get him that day. You know, this would be the day that would conclude the search. Got our formation. And so I'm assuming they the only pay the 100k if they catch him with the could. tip. What's up, Kato? You trying to turn in John Parsons? We were very it's too damn bad. To pinpoint him. The emotion started. The adrenaline started running high. John Parsons. Outside with your hands up. Let me see them now. We got the wrong guy. This was not John Parsons. This was Carson Daly. Ooh. We found out that he had a trap door in the bottom that he could go right out, and he had already escaped the cabin before we made entry. Thanks to the Prime Chef. I'd run from my escape hatch and gone to the river, but stayed in the woods. I ended up on Eastern Avenue. <laughs> I ended up just putting About myself back in jail. jail. I, from and right I said, fuck it. Company. This will be a great Directly joke on Ron if I just bring myself back. By the railroad that had been overgrown since I was a kid. Thanks to the resub, Digimon. It was D as good Jesus. A place as any Digimon is better. He's gonna commit a crime somewhere. I mean, you feel like such a fucking something. boomer, Digimon. Somebody's gonna see him. He's gonna get picked up. Thanks to the resub, Do Frito and Raid. I began stealing lumber to build myself a shack. I also rounded up all the things I might need to survive in the wilderness. What? The fuck? This is like a whole season's worth of like 24. Well, without, like, all the terrorism and shit. Solar it's nothing like 24, but this is like a whole season of a show right now. So I went to a grave to pick up a couple. I looked up at the tombstone to see a big smiling portrait of Officer Larry Cox. This is made up. This is a fucking ghost story you're telling around a campfire. No way. Down, I was so stunned. No fucking way. I felt like the man was haunting me. Shame to admit it, but I wrapped up the lights and headed back to my shack. That didn't happen. We received hundreds of tips. We had to follow up on. 
So you're using all your resources. Following yeah, that little arc right there of meeting the officer's grave, that didn't happen in the all, manga, just in the Netflix adaptation you still here. Have to follow it up. There was moments when you thought, you know, what, what can we do differently? I mean, how, how are we going to find out where he is? You know, it was, it was very frustrating at times. Two Bro, this guy's just fucking chilling in the game. forest in a cabin he built from sticks and stones. To go ahead and move Next, camp. he's gonna build himself a gaming computer with a fucking a GTX 1080 ray tracing and go. start streaming. My plan was to wear a Halloween mask and escape at night so I would blend in with all the trick-or-treaters. No! <laughs> Finally, I was going to escape for good. And I could leave my old life behind me. Little did I know they were IDing John every child. Escaped from jail and has been on the run in Ross County, Ohio, for two months. We had got some some information that said somebody had built a little crude structure in the vicinity of the Eastern Avenue Lumber Company. And we just eaten lunch. We were all standing out behind the law complex, kind of talking. This is such an incredible story. John Parsons had been seen in a shack behind the uh, lumber store. So Who we snitched? For a hundred fucking grand, I'd be calling him every day if we even if like I saw a man walking down the street at an odd pace. I'd be fucking snitching on everyone we until I accidentally catch we him. Thought that he would probably fire on us. He shot one one officer you know what's what's gonna hurt to shoot one or two more the minute I saw the tattoo on his no leg, way I, I knew it was John Parsons he was there we had him I thought he was Come leaving oh it wasn't Halloween yet it's just kind of a cold chill went through my body you know I mean Ah, uh, that's guess. underwhelming. We ordered him to, to put his hands out, you know, and ask him if he had any weapons. That's really said, fucking well, underwhelming. Knife. All of that to be caught with your pants down in a fucking abandoned shack in the woods. He pretty much, you know, thanks for the prime locket. When we got him out of the shack, he almost looked relieved. You know, he had that look of relief on his face. No, I don't think he did. With. It was a huge disappointment to get caught after all I went through. Trying to make the escape happen and make it work. And I also felt like life was over for me. Yeah, it, it was, right? You had the death sentence and, well, you tried to escape. expected the death penalty. Until they were so impressed by my story of escape that I they just decided to, to let me go. And I had got Larry's handcuffs. Hello, John. You bought the U2s? Thank you, Don. I said, John, I've got Larry Cox's handcuffs I'm going to put on you. And he said, okay. I had felt that it was only fitting that, that once John Parsons had escaped, that he should go back to jail in Larry's handcuffs. And the little note he left me, goodbye, Ron. First thing I seen John Parsons, I told him, welcome back, John. Ooh. He knew what I was saying. Run with the last laugh, the zinger. <laughs> Damn. Fuck yeah, Ron. That's a stupid haircut. Oh, so we actually did murder the officer. I thought it was all allegedly. Well, I'm glad he didn't get away then. I draw a lot of portraits now. <laughs> it always brings back the memory of the one I seen on the tombstone. That <laughs> I now post a lot of my art I on uh, Deviant Art. Being chased. It's not very popular. Almost every time I remember. But I don't care. Powers. That's what they're about. John Parsons will escape some other time. It may not be now. May not be next year. May not be six years. Maybe ten years from now. But somewhere. 
Sometime, he will attempt to do it again. Well, how about we just nip that problem in the bud and put him in solitary, where there is no chance of him escaping, shy of performing the world's most incredible magic trick, and literally snapping his fingers and teleporting out. What the fuck is he going to do in solitary? You're feeding him through a little hole. Solitary is torture? Well, to each their own. When you're dealing with John Parsons, no expense is too high. Thanks to the Prime Cats. What was the other... What did I say I was going to watch next? I forgot. Uh, oh, yeah, it was the Star Wars fan film, but I'd already seen that. Alright, let's watch some Kay's cooking. Now I'm in the mood for some good food. After seeing that man live on dirt, soil, and brown recluse things. Um... We can check out a jambalaya. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. What's up, Kay? And today, I'm going to be doing the long-awaited jambalaya. Right, so now, um, I'm going to put a tablespoon full of oil in. Where's the As mayonnaise said, at, though, Kay? That's what I'm here you know, for. I haven't got a proper tablespoon. I've been using dessert spoons. I bought a... We'll do some piss-take food in a minute. I was given a bread maker machine and there's a tablespoon in that so that's done right the oil and what i want to do is it's said to one break out up. episode two so i'm going to put it in the oven for about a minute or so maybe if eat kay lets me oven. down on this recipe i'll switch eat the oil in the oven oh and add the pepper mm -hmm. is she reading a recipe pepper that's cheating yes Pepper. and some seasoning add salt and pepper and cook well this is until it's not a K original brown. so it's going in and like I said me over alright if it's not a K original then I'm not going to watch it piss take cheese on cracker I don't need a tutorial for how to put a slab of cheese on a cracker to be honest with you I'm here for the unique stuff like the mayonnaise cakes and that good shit. Mackerel soup. Hi people and I'm back cooking and today I'm going to be doing mackerel soup. The lighting could right, use some work, Kay. Some Looked like a snuff you film. See, I'm just warming it up. Um, I've got some mackerel fish. Solid. I'm going to cut it up. I don't think a single piece of that mackerel has been cut yet. Not even by accident. That's cut up, I think, good enough. Thanks to the Prime, Nolan. I'm going to put the spoon to scoop it out. I'm going to put. Thanks to the Prime, Theft God. The I've never had mackerel, but I bet fish. Kay can make me want some. If anyone can bring out flavor through a simple video, okay. In the pan, obviously. I mean, it doesn't doesn't look bad. It's like normal meat, or well, not really meat. Looks like that bag tuna that I used to get when I was a child. Medium heat, it says. Thanks for the resub, Hiroshima. Why am I doing it all glory blazer story? Teaspoon of lime Thanks, juice. Oh my god, it's funny you like that open it. Can you open that face? These are super boring compared to the other ones she was doing. It's literally just mackerel, carrots, now and then I'm ketchup or ketchup, tomato paste. Right, now I've got some What's a so fish right. cube? Now, like, as you see, it says fish stock. A Tide Pod? So what I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to melt one of them in boiling uh, water and then I'm going to add it to the uh, fish. Of course. Right, as you can see, I've made the... Uh, ah. Perfect. Just the right amount of bleach. Chicken. I actually want to watch another episode of Breakout. Those two are underwhelming. What was the one you said?
Someone said another breakout episode. I'll just type in the show. Is it this one? Episode 2 is the good one. Thanks for the resub. Some delicious pasta and Paul. I started forming an escape plan from the moment I walked in. Every system has a weakness. I was going to cut my way out. Oh, that's an interesting tactic. Would escape from our facility. Someone's going to have to get hurt. This is a true story. I wouldn't have it any other way. This one's significantly louder than the last one. It's a dramatized account based on the escapee's own recollections in letters and phone calls. He's not gonna go easy. May have a gun and may want to go down in a firefight. Oh, they spoiled it. They they showed me that he escaped successfully. Damn it! My name is Quante Adams. I'm 30 years old. Hey, man. January 2004, I was arrested by federal agents for drug conspiracy, possession of 1,400 pounds of marijuana, Ooh. and money laundering. I'd already been you gotta pump those years numbers years up. Only 1,400. I was facing a life sentence. On live PD, we watched a 78-year-old woman transporting 66 pounds of marijuana casually in an RV. I grew up amongst that. Everybody molded me to be a hardcore child, selling drugs from 10 years old wow. during time when I was 14. I've been locked up for 16 of the last 19 years. That sucks. That's fucking awful. Jesus. When I was in county jail, I tried to escape a couple of times. I'd been caught with little hacksaw blades and different things. Thanks for the reset, Sloth. I was transferred slot. to the maximum security federal wing at Alton Jail. Everybody thought it was impossible to escape from. At the time he arrived... That is until I asked them if I could leave and they said yes. This is what the marshals had told us at that time. And that, and they said that he was uh, an escape risk with a prior attempt. As I get near, I'm looking at the height of the building. Someone in my town tried to escape by climbing above the, the ceiling are, tiles, but need up falling. System, Down right into the central office. Also, more feature men after this. Maybe. Thanks for the resub ice cream. No, don't. Oh, I mean, you're making a joke. I, I thought that actually happened, Nine Ounce. I was gonna say. This prison break shit yeah, is interesting. Everywhere. All the doors are pretty much high tech, you know. This is all gonna be useful really information like for when for right. you guys when Twitch chat gets arrested when they make lolly porn illegal seen. and you fucking degenerates are tossed behind bars. You're gonna need these lessons to get out. Quante Adams. Age. 30. Marital status. Single. And number of kids. One. I had a child that never held in my arms. Oh, I was gonna say, those are some fat fingers. Just after I was <laughs> it's arrested, a baby. <laughs> I found that I was going to be a <laughs> That explains it. I They're not fully developed fingers, are they? Stupid baby. They gave me toiletries, toothpaste, dental floss, what have you. But you know, everything you get in prison can be used in some way to help you escape. Bolton, jail is very secure. We have a brand new building. Hey, Shane. All state-of-the-art camera equipment. That we can see 24 hours a day in the cells. Lights on, lights off. We oh, I think my break. dogs have to go out real quick. I don't mean to blue ball anyone, but here, watch the Amazing Spider-Man. Ah, right back. Come on, you went this way. Uh, I went. For real. Look, it's a spider. Cool. It's red and blue, just like. Just like Spider-Man. Whoa! It's Spider-Man. What are you doing in my living room? Glad you asked. I sent my bioengineered spider out into the world to seek the best candidates to help me fight the evil thugs that terrorize the city. 
It shows you, Lee, and you, Stan, and it shows you at home. The three of you will soon become Spider-Man. Holy cannoli! Wait, what about dinner? That's a good question. What about dinner? You'll be home in plenty of time to set the table. Let's go! Juices flowing. Can you show us how to web glide? Yeah. Web gliding through the air is strictly for Spider-Man, but maybe we'll pretend a little later. Awesome. So let's start by warming up. Spread out your spidey mat and make sure you have a safe area to play in, away from furniture or windows. All right, let's stretch. Torso twist. You at home, follow along. Why do we have to stretch? Can't we just spider up? You can't be Spider-Man if you pull a hammy. Stretching our muscles will prepare us mentally and physically for the training ahead. It's important to loosen up your body so you can be ready for anything. Now stretch out your arms like this. Nice. Other arm? It's important when you're slinging webs to really be able to reach out. You don't want to come up short, trust me. Now let's stretch out those spidey legs. Flexible legs are really important for jumping and dodging. But we'll get to that a little later. Great. Let's turn sideways on our mat. Crouch down. Stretch out our leg. And reach. Nice. And switch legs. Right leg out. And reach. Beautiful. All right. Let's learn some Spidey moves. Yeah! Are you having fun at home? Good. Make sure your Spidey mat is set. Now I'm going to show you three different positions. What's up, pussies? Spidey crouch. I'm back in the Mega Mix. The swing stance. Thanks for the resub, ballin' acidity. Great. And for the lol. This is the spy Thanks for the resub, Lunar. Great lengths. prevent someone from escaping as I'm walking to the cells I'm trying to study every little thing the doors the buzzers the sound of the buzzers there's the resub alien three doors and I turn a corner and I'm into a corridor with 13 cells if this guy was smart he would have just brought an EMP device there's a lot of shouting going on what's your name where are you from? One of them I knew from the segregation wing at the county jail. I'm ripping fat ass, hold on. There it is. The show's about criminals that broke out of jail. With the video system in the booking area, we have the monitor set up to where we can see the cell blocks, see into the cells. That's gonna be uh, tough to get around. We're constantly looking at those. He's certainly not camera shy, that's for sure. Sitting in your cell, you can hear the guards approaching every time. Thanks for the five. I've got three buzzers before anyone gets to my cell. I realized their security system could be my early warning system. Hey, Mr. Quante. The warden, he came to me. We're keeping a very close eye. No, that's what you he think. He told me all this stuff we'll about, you know, that I'll never get out of his jail, so don't think about it. Why would you issue a challenge like that? What's the point? They would have to physically I dare you to escape. Officer staff. Oh, you escaped. Take the keys from them to go out a series of doors. And I know all my jail staff well enough to know that that's not going to be an easy task for someone to do. If someone, Quante or whoever else, would escape from our facility, 
someone's gonna have to get hurt. They search my cell every day, shake my cell down. Just making sure that you're still here, Quante. Make sure there's no escape routes. Oh, he seems like, like a that. nice guy. They joke with you, but they're serious at the same time. We did everything we could to keep an eye on him 24 hours a day. God, look at that old ass technology from 2004. Not even streaming in 4K surround sound. What the fuck is the point? You're not even watching him. on the cameras was really a weakness. They can't see what a person would see. I laid in my cell for months, just listening and imagining and visualizing, using common sense to try and create an image of what's going to be up in the roof. Piping. You're telling me he's piping, seeing all the systems and all that ventilation work Every little and thing piping. Part in creating a vivid description of what you're going to actually mm -hmm. encounter when you plan an escape. You try to study the piping and plumbing of the building. You listen to sound and see how it travels through the cell. I'm paying attention to every little thing. Quick tactical text message. When it would rain outside, I could smell this distinct smell. Rain on concrete. And that reminded me. It made me know for sure that there was an exhaust fan up there in the roof. How does that help you? So I just wanted to follow that smell. I knew there was a way out. Yeah, the fan's not going to help you, though. For an exit. But there are three different doors. And every time you move, you have to be shackled. I never thought about tunneling my way out. The chief of police was underneath me. But maybe... Thanks to the reset way. If I'm looking at the monitor and I don't see an inmate, I will get on the intercom. Quante, how we doing, buddy? Generally, they're buried under well, the covers hello, or they're using kid. the restroom. Be alone, Mike. I'm on the can. Ooh, little did he know that that was actually a stunt double. One thing I noticed, the camera didn't include the toilet. Thanks for the reset. So if the guard was looking on the screen of your camera, he's not going to be worried when he thinks you're using the toilet. It's possible, OG. Thanks for the prime raccoon, dude. The blind spot behind the toilet was kind of and small, but... The reset boom in. I thought I might just be able to cut a hole up there I could squeeze through. My problem was that the roof was solid steel, and I needed a tool to cut my way out with. You don't necessarily need a tool, right? Well, yeah, no. Nothing you I need a clean cut. Everything was built with security in Thanks mind. to the reset theocratic. There was a built-in toilet and a phone for making collect calls. Godspeed and boot camp. The wall. No Stay wires, strong, Waffle. No cords I could use. Nothing. I'll watch the Japanese prison break after this. Every morning at 7 a.m., we will begin their one hour of rec time, starting with uh, each cell. I knew how to get a blade. I'd done it before. I got it sent through the mail, but I couldn't do that here. Security was too tight. Yeah, it seems pretty simple. Hey, can you send me a blade through the mail? No one checks that. It came to me. It'd be a huge oversight. Maybe I could get a book sent to another inmate. I didn't trust any of them. I didn't want to rely on anyone. Then I thought, maybe, maybe, I didn't even have to know it was coming. I need a blade. <laughs> Oh, baby. That's easy. That's all it takes. I was real nervous waiting. I didn't know if the book was going to get x-rayed. I didn't know if the guy would say, I didn't order this. I don't want this. I knew that if they found the blade, they would somehow suspect me, and my security level would be raised sky high. So I knew that if the blade didn't get through, everything would fail. I, well... They need a better vetting process. The other wasn't even aware the book was coming in. Thanks to the Prime Assassin Nor was and the reset boom. A hacksaw blade inside of the book. It's a fucking hacksaw blade. No one bothered to check. No, you're such a deep thinker. Modern ethics. I knew if the book didn't get through, I wouldn't be getting out. What's the conundrum? I don't know. Enjoy. You can't give any signs of your plan. You gotta appear. I'm assuming they slid the hacksaw blade in the spine of the book in that little crease where the pages the and the in, I, I don't know what they call it, but like where the hard cover and, and the pages wait. meet. I'm assuming they slid it down there, but even still, why if you shake then, it, that would fall out. Get the book 
gonna read of that book you got It is today? this fine. I had it right the first time. Marley took the book. I had to get the blade out as quickly as I could. Hide it. Destroy the evidence. There it was. Alright, that was that was much deeper in there than I thought. I know if it was Even shaking, it probably wouldn't have got that to squeak out. And get the blade for me. I wanted to make sure that I didn't get caught with anything. Not even a paperclip. He should just use his BBC to cut through the ceiling. When I actually got the blade, Damn Johnny. I was a little nervous and excited. I didn't know for sure my plan was going to work. I'd observed the roof. I was thinking I could cut my way through the ceiling and make my way out through those vents. I put the blade to the ceiling and it sounded loud. Oh, that sound is fucking rough. I was surrounded by 18 other inmates. At least 14 of them were snitches, looking to go tell and get a time reduction. Oh, that's yeah, that's a big move. So I thought. The only way I could cut at the ceiling was when things were really loud on the corridor. I had to get them to cover for me. Let me see the reset line. I would get them to cause a distraction without them Thanks, realizing. Man. These guys are bored out of their minds. Would do anything to keep entertained. Victor! Let me hear something, man. Oh, Quante, I got something new for you. I just wrote a new verse. I'd get people making music, rapping. When in my zone, let me loose. You're on your own. Mm, fire you coming in. I climb mad uh, when I ride. The lyrics all wrong. Hey, yo, CJ. Show Victor how it's done. Oh, he's starting a rap battle. So you had a, all these cells blowing up at the same time. That's Everybody smart. Would get louder and louder and try to be heard, and the louder they got, the less I could be heard. Damn, that's fucking genius. Like a battle rap, you know? Like MCs who battle each other. Even the security guards joined in. And before you know it, they decided whoever wins the battle rap gets to go free. So then I won. Finally, I got the blade all the way now Thanks to the excited. Prime Masso. I had thoughts of being with my daughter, being on a beach. I had to find a way to mask the cut in the ceiling. Thanks to the resub. Every MLK. time I go for a shower, I would just take all the soap with me. The stuff you find in prison. Thanks to the tier one you. rocket. I mix soap and toothpaste to make a kind of of a paste that yeah. cover up the saw marks in the ceiling. That's exactly what John Parsons did. Right, so it would stick up there. So long as I listened out for the buzzers, I knew I was hidden from the camera. That must be a common technique. You might want to just get rid of soap or toothpaste. I don't know. One or the I'd other. I at two o'clock and go through three and four in the morning. When they Thanks for the resub, Shrubby. To go slower. It could take an hour just to get some little scrapes off. But I figured it was better than laying down and doing nothing. Thanks to the prime. Capuscus. Capuscus. After three weeks of cutting, I was finally through. Steel came away in my hands. And I felt a rush of excitement. I knew I was on my way. I am Freedom fucking shocked. The other side of that hole. I could hear the guard getting closer. And I still couldn't get the piece of it back in the ceiling. I was panicking. Ooh! Just fucking punch it. I ran to the door to block the hole from the guard. What you been doing in there? I'm just standing right in front of the window so he can't see the hole in the cell. What? Sun. Wouldn't he have seen you on the camera do this though? Like the fumbling stuff? There's no way he was able to successfully block the guard from seeing the hole though since he didn't get the piece back in him standing in front of the window there meant nothing because he's five foot six the dude's already looking down to see him he would have easily looked up and seen the hole it would have been in his view I want to see if there was room enough for me to crawl it makes no sense I knew that if they called me and the cell looked empty I had some time 
because they think I was using the toilet. He wasn't wearing his specs. I got, the hole open. I got lucky and the guard forgot his glasses. How he didn't even know who I was. So many more plays than all of the but music actually, I've when released. I'm crawling around, is it because I'm so pretentious? Can't make anything up. Probably, but let me lament. I don't know what you mean by that, Jude. Thanks for the reset flop. And the reset hippo. Pretty much heartbroken that they didn't seem a way out from the ceiling cavity. Uh, there's always a way out if you're strong enough. I mean, I'm lucky enough to go that long without them discovering any of the cutting in the ceiling. It was like, you know, you're just like you want to give in. You become real depressed, like your whole world just collapsed. Then something told me, hey, you came this far. I just gotta keep fighting. Thanks for the resub, Jude. I'm thinking, there's got to be a way out to that vent I saw when I came into the prison. So maybe, just above my cell, there's another level which will lead to that vent. Oh, he has to cut another hole? I didn't want to rely on just hearing the three buzzers. I knew they came around every 30 minutes. So I'd give myself just 25, and I'd count it out. Second by second. Ooh, that's some real Dr. Stone shit. One, two, I counted every second for 3,700 years. Just so I could know what time it was. I started pushing on the roof and started beating on it. And I noticed that it wasn't the absolute top of the roof. I'm thinking, there's something above this. Dr. Stone does fucking slap. So it I is fucking great. I broke a metal off of something that was up there and started, like, chiseling. They don't suspect a fucking thing. Hey, Vincent! You still thinking it right we taking over the Iraqi nation? We got every right to be over there. Do you have any I was always looking for ways to create yeah, some kind of a distraction so I could get back up into the roof space. Come on, the war was a setup, Vincent. You know that, man. Man, Vincent and Victor. So I started working away at the there, There's some characters, man. Before Rap battling, talking about, like, real to big world shit. To get air. But I said... You know, this has to be it. Then I felt a little piece of like asbestos or insulation that came back through. And then, you know, I got a little bit excited and I made the hole big enough where I could stick my head through. And little did I know I'm in the warden's office and he's looking at me. I'm fucked. This is a dramatized account of a prison break based on letters and phone calls with escapee Quante Adams. He's just cut a hole in the steel seat. Well, since they have this story and they said it was phone calls like, with him, I'm assuming he didn't make like, it very far. That's what I was looking for. I got happy. I got happy as hell. I seen that light, I'm like, hell, there they are. The vents I was looking for. Kick those babies All out. Well, between me and freedom. Never mind. Hold off on kicking those babies out. A few seconds with my blade. But I need to spend time up there, watching and planning. I was gonna make a rope out of my blanket, cut open the vent, and scale down the building. But That's a lot of activity. Of and be stuck with no place to go. I wanted to make sure that I would have a ride. I didn't want to put myself in a situation where I had to carjack or take something from some innocent person. That was sweet. Back home to pick me up, but when I escaped, I was anticipating the police would put everyone I knew and trusted under surveillance. Thanks, a hundred bits, Taylor. That was a real problem. And then I got lucky. A police officer offered to just let me leave. But I said, no, I've come so far in my prison break, let me at least try. Was single black male.
Thanks for the 400, Taylor. I obviously was feeling lonely, and <laughs> I just wanted someone to take care of. I've dated Aww. pretty much every race there is, except black men. And I just wanted to see if, you know, if they were different than, you know, the white, the Caucasian man, the Asian man, and the, the Indian man, and the Puerto Rican man that I dated. All right, Taylor. Well, she might just be my ride. Another inmate told me, if you could get into your phone and move the jacks around, you could pretty much get free calls. It meant they wouldn't be able to trace who you were making calls to. That's a so huge I'm oversight. Sure about that. Saw you were watching Case Cooking. She has a new channel. She buys an aubergine, not to avocado. What the fuck is an aubergine? Hello. And I heard this most angelic voice come over the phone, and he's oh. like, "I saw your ad in the newspaper." Wait, what? It was just so sweet. She put an ad in the newspaper looking to fuck prison inmates? I must have missed that part. No, I... I will. <laughs> okay. So what do you do? I mean, what do you do for fun? How do you keep yourself busy? I just made up stories, basically. So they have a phone in their cell? I thought that he would like me more if I did that. He was just tired of the jail game. He just wanted to find someone and be in a stable home environment. He liked older women. It was like he was a little boy just needing his mommy. But I, I mean, I did have a love for him. Ah, uh, just like an mean? Alabama mother-daughter relationship, relation, mother-son relationship, you know, or daughter too, I guess. Like that. He told me that he was in Alton, and I'm like, oh, that's not that far, you know. I want to come see you. He didn't want me to Thanks come. Thanks for the 300 bits, Bailey. I told her not to come. Well, that sounds about right, Ben. It seems she small. does come to the prison, she'll have to leave her address, license details. She'll be leaving a trail. Look at that Brit calling an eggplant an aubergine. How pretentious. Oh, it's an eggplant? Okay, now I know. Thanks for the resub, Saturn. Is he imprisoned on a spaceship? I'm a little confused on the layout myself, actually. I don't know if I'm actually. really that naive and gullible, or if he just had some kind of charismatic power mm. over me that I just wasn't thinking right. Thanks to the Prime Lex. I just had in my head that he oh. was a sweet, innocent person that had been wrongly imprisoned. To be fair, it's only drug charges, so it's not that bad. And then I fell in love with the security guard. Who reminded me of Jonah said, Hill. You got a visitor. I wasn't expecting her. What'd she look like? He pretty much put the thumbs down, like, you know, you're not going to be happy what she looks like. <laughs> what a nice guy. I didn't care what she looked like. Because I was in love. An open mind and an open spirit. So that was a good thing to me. Thanks for the resub luck. Hi. Oh, <laughs> sultry. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine, thank. I was uh, I was gonna dress trashy. It's okay. What I does it? For classy to trashy. What, what, what does that mean, Taylor? He asked me to stand up and turn around. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the prime vow. I guess we could check out the merchandise. I don't know. This window was big enough, and there are no bars there, no guards around me. I would jump through. And fuck your asshole. Well, until you let me you know if you decide pissed. to do that, and I'll be there to catch you. <laughs> so you know, I took that as a sign that if I want to leave here, you're going to be here to give me a ride or to take me or hide me or whatever. I remember tracing his lips on the uh, on the glass. I don't know about that, Dia. Maybe. Seems like a meme. He was very handsome, and it was just his voice. His voice is what um, just really touched my heart, my soul. How was she? And hey, now he's embarrassed. If only you fucking guys knew what I'm about to do, you'd understand. 
Sometimes he would. What kind of maximum security prison gives them an easily hackable phone in their cell? Oh hey, I never could figure out how he was able to do that. Yeah, sure, that would be that would be great. I'd like to come back. He was. I mean, that's what he did. He hacked his phone, as they called it. The fuck am I supposed to call it? Incarcerated, and that he would be kidding out. How's your girlfriend? I didn't completely trust the phone, even though I had rigged it. So I needed to find another way of getting information to Tanya. They called this a maximum security prison that no one had ever broken out of and they couldn't even fathom someone breaking out of. Her a few Thus, I will refer to it as such. While using the phones in the Vista booth when there is a huge hole in the glass. I need a ride. Yeah, I don't really know, Fez. Thanks for the 100 bits, Perry. He showed me an envelope. He was holding an envelope, and um, he was pointing to the stamp on the envelope repeatedly to let me know that there was a message under the envelope. But I was thinking it was, you know, I love you, suck you into windows, or something to that effect. You know, she pretty what? much looked and said, okay, yeah, I know. Who looks at a stamp and thinks of something I was sexual? my golden rule. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, Pennsylvania, yeah. That's probably okay. the worst, okay. the worst decision I made right there. Those are the reset. Quante Adams is Kay attempting Kyo. to break out of Alton Jail, Illinois. He's hidden a secret message for Tonya Goodwin underneath a stamp. I walked out the door and got in the car. Thanks and the 100 bits, immediately sir. I looked under the, the stamp of the envelope. I was expecting secret I love yous. It had on there if Quante calls or anyone from my family calls and says that I'm getting out, then I need you to pick me up at the corner of Washington and Broadway. It was a little, you know, downheartening. But I still did it. Everything covered now. Yes. But one thing bothered me. The 30 minute checks. I needed more time than that to get away before the alarm was raised. I thought maybe I could construct some sort of a dummy so it would look like I was sleeping in my bed when they came on the rounds. How dumb are these guards? That is actual home alone shit. I'm thinking I'm going to be leaving soon. Yep. Hey, look, he's just sleeping in his bed. They'll probably work. As they watch him make that. Hello? Oh, hey. I'm probably going to be getting out soon. I felt very scared Thanks to the prime, knowing David. that he was going to be released soon. Okay. I was afraid that he wasn't going to be able to get a job and <laughs> that's we what you were worried about agitated with each other and i was just worried about how our cohabitation was going to work out what? i told him i said you can stay in the spare room and he's like no i want to stay in your room and i'm like are you sure this is sad that's that sad what to do about thanks for the resub i caught a break one day when i got my laundry back there were extra clothes in there so I filled up the pants in the top with the insulation that I found in Thanks the Thanks to the resub stranded. And then I took a cracker box to make the head and a chest piece for the nose. Dude, he literally <laughs> jail broke his phone. And I took a t-shirt and made a do-rag to put over yeah. the head. You're not wrong, Yoshi. This guy's making a fucking cartoon room. dummy of himself to fool stupid guards in a cartoon. I, needed, I left them all up there in the room. No fucking way this is based on a true story. This No one's that dumb, explain right? explain him to everybody. <laughs> He just stands up the dummy with its arms like this. Knew about him. Uh, how's it going, Mr. Adams? I was hoping that I could rely on her. All I wanted was a ride for when I bust out. He told me one day that he was going to make me love him. No. Oh. Yeah. I thought to myself, I already do, but I didn't tell him. Why? You What? He called you like three the last times. Last couple of days before I left, I spent as much time as I could up in the roof and I observed. I decided that I was going to leave tomorrow night, no matter what. Oh, that was sweet. Thank you, Rainy Day. Everything was leading up to this. All the months of preparation. 
I was very calm and relaxed. But I knew that if I was caught, I'd be transferred to a federal supermax prison where I'd have no chance of escape. Yeah, that sounds about right. Thanks to the Prime Strong. I ate a little bit, not too much. And I had me a cup of coffee because I wanted to, you know, make sure that I was kind of amped up that night. I didn't take you for a coffee drink, Quante. In case I had to stay up as late as possible. Good conversation. If you didn't take him for a coffee drinker, why do you bring Our him coffee? Began at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, a few arrests. It wasn't very busy. Thanks to the resub crossover in the prime. Overwhelmingly busy. Kappa. Looking back at it now, I, you know, you remember the quantity. Thanks to the resub. Generally he asked for it, window. retard. Looking. Like Suck my dick, you tell him. Since when can you ask for certain coffees in prison? He called me and he said, Supposed to be a maximum up. security. Can you pick me up? And I'm like, sure. In that case, I could just ask for a lobster and then use the claw to dig my way out of these things. Thanks for making night. me smile, just smile. A, just a normal night. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Simon. I leave the home. It takes approximately 45 minutes. Oh, what a sweetheart rainy day. To to, you'll physically touch him. I just wanted him to be free. Around 8 o'clock, I cut my blanket into little strips. And I tied each strip together. I made like a long rope out of it. There was a guy there. I had him harass the guard. They ain't giving you your mail. That's against the law. Really? He pushed his button and he started to yell at the guard who was watching the camera. Why are you not giving me my letters? Because once you press your button, they're going to be there at your cell to see what's going on with you. So Good I covered plan. the camera up. Well, that's suspicious. Down. Oh. I see. I thought he was trying to escape already. And then uncovered the camera Thanks again. to the Prime, Natha, Smooby, and Nebula. Arrive in Alton, and he, you know, he calls and tells me what to do, and I follow his instructions, and then he instructs me to, to park on Washington Street, and that he'd be out in a few minutes. I was excited knowing that he was going to be released soon. I got cable, the cable he wanted. I even bought groceries. Aww. Bleached my asshole. As soon as Morelli's done the rounds, I'm out of the blocks. I'm moving fast, but I'm real methodical in what I do. Body first, head next, then arms. I need the dummy to buy me time. It's gotta look good. I take the plate down, I'm through the ceiling. That is some real Scooby-Doo shit. Along the crawl space, into the roof, and across Thanks the, the bed, resub, fast Chad. as I can go. I'm thinking, will the guard spot the dummy in my cell? Am I going to be seen as I come out? Will Tanya even be there? I was sitting in the vehicle. I turned it off. And out of the corner of my eye, I kept seeing something move. Oh no, she turns him in. And the middle louver, I kept seeing someone pull it down and looking out. Across the street, a truck was coming up that alley. And the truck had bright lights. And the lights just shined right on the vent. I hoped. I just hoped he didn't see that. So I removed the vent. And threw down the Taylor door. betrays him? And then I seen someone come flying out the top, spelunking down. Off the side of this jail. And then I realized it was, it's it was hard to believe. It's the man I love. And I thought to myself, wow, that's My a weird way son. to release him. Well hop on in. I slid down the rope so fast, I burned the palms of my hands. I just dropped. Oh my god. I just can't believe this has happened. That's when I realized, oh my gosh, he just broke out of jail. And I was so wet. Thanks for the resub, Octopus. These prison break things are impressive. Quante Adams has that just escaped right from saying, Alton though. Jail, Illinois. An unwitting accomplice is acting as his getaway driver. We both touched the door at the same time. Our hearts both sunk, but for different reasons. I'm off the door. My heart sunk because it was this. That's when I realized, oh my gosh, he just broke out of jail. So what? You're in love? I thought she was real nervous. 
Locked door! Locked door! What are you doing? The locked door! She should have had the door unlocked. And then I had just seen the sad look on his face. And I, you know, I let him in. Oh, Taylor. You should make a porn game based on their relationship. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, I just can't believe this is happening. He's like, well, I thought you knew. I had, I did not have a clue. I had no clue. Yeah, we know, Taylor. Once he got in, we I know. thought I just got in too deep already. I couldn't, I couldn't go back. I'm thinking, she's real panicky. Something's a little suspicious about that. Comes that looks like a cereal to box. Take the names of the people who are there for petty offenses, and they broadcast on the radio. Hey, Mike, how you doing? He asked me. You doing any construction work outside? Why? And he said that there was something hanging from the air vents. I just went numb. Everything kind of stopped for a second, and you get the oh no feeling. Your heart is in your stomach, the bottom of your stomach. No, god damn it. Oh, shit. It's gotta be Quante Adams. I banged on the door. Thanks for the reset, name. whiskey and electric guy. Quante! Quante did not respond. Quante! It looked like what it had looked like the entire night. A cereal box. You could hear the sound of paper. You could see the cup fall on the floor. And you knew it was a, just a, a dummy. Made it look like him. Well, t hey, take off the... No, 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 look under that, because that's the best part. It's a cereal box. Come on, man. At least get the full effect. Answered the phone, knowing that something was probably wrong somewhere. Mike, what's up? And the first thing he says is, Quante has escaped. I physically thought I was going to throw up. After I hung up the phone with right, Mike, thanks. and I called the captain. Oh, no, the, the dangerous chief, criminal who right has weed is All loose right, again. My realization came from being woken up and told that we had uh, an escape at the jail. It was a very strange feeling. Obviously, we believed it would be difficult, if not impossible, to escape from the jail if procedures were followed. He's just more upset that he lost his bet. That's right. Go to my house? I bet you can't break out of here, Mr. Adams. My what do you mean, Mr. Adams broke out? Get on the phone. Fuck. Get somebody reliable to pick me up. I want you in a motel room for a couple of days until things calm down. I needed to get off the road fast. I don't really care what time it is, Murray. I need roadblocks set up every access road in and out of Alton, and I want it done now. It was uh, hectic when I arrived. Um, I went directly into the command center, and then I went up to the jail. I wanted to see everything myself. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Look at the cereal box. That's the best part. Huh. Is, that, is that how we got out? <laughs> what the fuck do you think? It's a hole Where in the ceiling. <laughs> Right, you guys put holes in your ceiling over here? Or is this where you left? We needed to try to narrow a time it frame is? Okay. down. If a few minutes have gone by, then the prisoner is nearby. If he's been gone for half an hour and could be maybe 30 miles away, you have a 60 mile in diameter circle to be searched. If you get two hours out and you're looking at 120 miles or farther away, this becomes geographically impossible. We were already in the geographic impossibility of securing the, uh, a perimeter circle. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we were very, very concerned. Hold on, I'm ripping ass. There it is. Taylor must have been so horny for that whole ride here. I was scared. I knew it was very serious. I wanted to keep him protected, too. I didn't, you know, I wanted to keep him hid. I was real worried. I needed to reach out to someone to come get me. Why? Just go with Taylor. She's infatuated with you. Just have her drive until the car breaks down. Who gives a fuck who it is? Any other source of information That's a stupid that plan to try and get someone else in the equation. Insight into where he might have gone and who had contact with him. Some of those things would be the records of the phone calls that he made. And in the course of this process, going through those records, we came across the name of Tanya Goodwin. Boss. Is her name not I Taylor? Think got one. I'm 43 years old. Police are presently trying to locate Miss Goodwin, who is known to have visited Adams while at Old Jail. And oh, to I'm sorry, Taylor. I thought your name TV. was Taylor. And there it was. All over the news. We just sat beside each other and watched the news. It was so intense. 
I'm sorry, Tanya. For getting your name wrong, you're a fucking I idiot. The best but I, be I just apologize for fucking up your name. Her. Let's not get you in any more trouble. Oh. I knew they were going to question. That's sweet. He took the phone book and um, he just started looking through a section of East St. Louis. And he's like... Tell them that you dropped me off at the McDonald's on State Street. You dropped me off and I just walked away into the darkness. Well, how about this? You could go a step further. Sounded easy enough. The because now she's still implicated. I could, um, Just say, convince the police you convinced her that you were getting released, she waited, that once you stole her car and left, and then you get the car too. possibility that she would roll over and tell them where I was at. But I figured that I had enough time to get away before they got there. I made a call to somebody I knew in California. I need somebody to come pick me up. They contacted somebody in Chicago to come down and get me. They're probably about... Five hours away. That's not very efficient. Tanya Goodwin had visited him twice in the immediate past. We needed to determine if she had talked to him, if she was cooperative, if she knew anything. Got an address for you, Jimmy? Yes, I got it. That's it. After we determined where she lived, pulled the records up, we contacted <sighs> the police department for uh, the areas where she lived to go and make contact with her. There's two of them that come beating the door down. And I went and opened the door. Oh, they're coming in and locked and loaded. Like flying all over me. Where's your boyfriend? Where's your boyfriend? Claire! Claire! The other guns draw, search in the apartment. Where's Quante? Where's Quante? Where is Quante? Quante, Quante. Where is Quante? Thanks tier one rainy day. Really Very sweet. Thank you. Me. I was expecting my ride to turn up in just a couple of hours. That's still a long time. I picked him up and I took him to the McDonald's in St. Louis. That's a lie. Tell me the truth. I'm trying to tell you. Where is he? Where is Quante? Well, how does he know that's a lie? Why wouldn't you check? I told him where he was. Oh, you fucked it up, Tanya. She told us that he was in room 108 of the motel. Well, why did they believe that, but not the, the not the McDonald's? Here. What I'm thinking outside the door is he's not going to go easy because of the incredible amount of dedication to systematically escape from a, a jail. He may have a gun and may want to Thanks go the down space. in a firefight. It's uh, scary. You don't know what's going to happen. You're on edge. You're, you're nervous. You're shaking. He could have absolutely gotten away. That was just really poor planning. All he had to do is instead of giving her a bullshit story about McDonald's to say... I waited for him, he said he was released, but then he ended up stealing my car and drove away with it. And then he just leaves with the fucking car from this hotel. I can think of that. And I've never used a hacksaw or cereal box to escape from a maximum security prison. All of that worked for that. Thanks to the Prime Daydream, the resub, Jerry Doe. First moment in my life. He was pretty good at getting out of the jail. He just wasn't very good once he got out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he sucks ass like once he's out there. Breaks his chain. You know, once he got off, he didn't know where to go. Thanks to the resub, Angel. Damn. That's a pretty light charge, all things considered. And don't forget, you can catch Breakout at the same time next week. What an oh, interesting next. show. Alright, let's watch more of this shit. What was it? The Japanese prison escape. I'm assuming it'll come up by just typing this in. Is it this one? Or is it this one? Why is the linebacker for the Green Bay Packers stuck in a Japanese prison? Is this one? Okay. I'm Kento Bento. This video was made possible by Dashlane. Download Dashlane for free if you never want to forget another password again at the link in the description. Aomori Japan, 1936. Prisoner Yoshie Shiratori had had enough. 
He was oh, forced to confess. Oh, thank God, it's a reenactment. Did not commit. Falsely imprisoned in Aomori prison, beaten and tortured every night by prison guards, and now worse, prosecutors were seeking the death penalty. In his mind, it was time to go. But Aomori prison wasn't the easiest to escape. Regardless, Yoshie Shiratori had nothing to lose, and so at 5:30 a.m. he made his move. Mm, I don't know if I care for this. I like the reenactments. The time, as he had studied the guards' routine for months, and when the coast was clear, he pulled out a metal wire which he had smuggled in yeah, from the Yeah, I don't know if I care about the anime here. The lock. This was originally the metal support ring that was wrapped around the bathing buckets inmates used to wash themselves. His hands were stiff from the wintry cold, but after a few minutes of picking, he had success. And his cell door swung I don't open. like true TV but shit. It's just too fake to be because fun. There were more locked doors ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the reenactments. I'm sure it's a good story, but eh, I don't know. I don't really want to see like the little graphic novel for it. I like the over-the-top reenactments. Thanks to the Prime Trap and Lord Poots. You know what time it is? I was in paradise. Hashtag Google Andrew Lots Yang time. $1,000 a month for life. Hashtag gamers for Yang. Alright. Like Thanks, Chance. Sin, Thanks for know, the prime. Indemnifi indemnification. Indemnification. Does he break out, or is this just, uh, just life in prison? This isn't an escape? Nothing. Okay. I'll go back to break out. To the Isle of Let's try episode one. The Texas Seven? This? Let's try this. Seven murderers. Rapists and robbers. They've been on the run. Oh, for busting Jesus. Out of maximum security prison. I decided that I was going to escape or die trying. What else do I have to lose? Well, this one seems a lot more intense than the other two. Holy shit. They killed a police officer in a very brutal fashion. This looks intense as fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. The other guy made a dummy out of cereal boxes and insulation. This is just full Bonnie and Clyde. Thanks to the Prime Sink Beef and Alipa. Appreciate the 100 bits, Alana. This is the butt nutter right here. Yeah, this is looking like a big butt nutter. Thanks, Hydra. Yeah, that was a good suggestion. I had accepted years ago that I belong in prison for the crimes I committed. I believed that I had received too much time, which was uh, 18 life sentences for the multiple robberies I committed back then. Why does this guy sound like such a fucking Redditor? 270 calendar years before my vegetable. I saw a deep fake porn of you last night. You were a very sexy nice. twink. I looked on Smile. The mirror and Not my proudest fact for you. I've been deep faked onto a lot of porn recently. I hope it was a good one. That's the day I decided that I was going to escape. When I made up my mind, I just. Uh, Open my eyes to my environment in a way that I was ignoring for years because I didn't want to think that way. Watching the strengths and weaknesses from the whole unit, top to bottom. They're looking Is this the, the guy that filmed his escape? Get out of there. For some reason, this seems familiar. I haven't seen this show or this episode. I know that there for a fact, but I think I know this story. Tickets that have the armed officers. The the wire would be about twelve foot. In addition to that, you would have one roving patrol vehicle that would also be armed. Thanks to the Prime Clint. I met George in, um, before the summer of 1998. For some reason, when I looked at him, I just realized Always that love the streams. 4 a.m. here, you know, but always have to catch them. Appreciate it, Luke. Thank you, man. Really did. I felt that connection. Oh. Jesus. 
These are some bad boys. Christ, the last guy just liked weed. These dudes are fucking... These are rough. I don't think I was actually thinking about escape at that time, but he was smooth, he was collected. Thanks to the reset extremist. Pink pig. <laughs> We just put our hands together and we just decided how it was the best way to do it, you know, jumping the fence or digging under the ground or <laughs> all the, the common thing was just, it was just stupid. So we had to think of a much better plan. The Conley unit has approximately 2,850 offenders. There's That's quite a few. hundred correctional officers. It's you not a whole lot. We have a fifth of that staff there at any one given time. They're greatly outnumbered. So why don't you change that and hire more? Seems like an easy solution. Or don't take as many prisoners in. Just obey them. Don't put up a fight. What if we take over the whole of the maintenance shop? I wanted my freedom. Because funding? I wanted to live. That's it. That makes sense. After much escape plan, I was using force to take over the maintenance shop. Because cheap prison labor. Yeah. Most That's smart, is though. Is the people I selected. Just Thank fucking you prison laboring. You've helped me through a lot. With, uh, Stay moist. Prospects. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Digimon. Thanks for the resub, Erect Armadillo. And the tier one. Welcome course. aboard, silly. Thanks to the Prime Gamer guy. Private jails make a lot. I don't think the government funded ones are nearly as profitable, but I'm talking out of my ass. I have no idea. I just know private prisons are they're very powerful. Now we all take over the maintenance shop. After that we divide up into two groups. The first group is myself, Harper, Murphy and Newberry. We're going to secure the guardhouse and the tower. After that, team 2 Rodriguez. Damn, this guy's Albert, ordering this shit around like it's Garcia. an esports event. We'll drive the truck out to the guardhouse, pick us up. We're gonna grab as many weapons as we can and bring it down. God damn. So that was our plan. Thanks to the prime rock and doorbell. Seize the maintenance shop. <clears throat> Objective two. Take over the guardhouse and tower. Once we had control of the tower, we could open the back gate and drive to freedom. This is so much more intense than I'll remove this cinder block and then run. to take over the whole maintenance shop. Figured that as long as we took the whole thing over at lunchtime and then proceeded to take or subdue every officer that returned. What? Escape from there. They did this like the video game way? They fought the guards? And we practice takedowns. Arm comes up, lock, takedown. Yes. So make sure you know what you gotta do. Plain and simple. Wow. Jesus, thank you for this food we're about to have. The night before, we ate a big spread. Please give us strength. We had a, a prayer together. Show us the light. So Thanks for the prime fee. As free men, we even kept our spirituality in this. You know, you know. Yeah, I'm sure God, God like, likes you beating up the you prison know, guards to escape so you can go murder somebody God. else. Smart. The Lord was smiling on that. Amen. 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 Toast to freedom. Thanks for the prime. To freedom. Bracco. I stretched. Then I got ready for bed and laid down early and tried to get all the sleep I could that night. On and off. It's just nervous. You know, I keep waking up and of course I had to escape on my mind. And it just continued throughout the night. The next morning, I felt at peace. I got enough sleep. I was restful. This is going to happen. You know, we have to do it. 
This is nuts. This is fucking intense. Six in the, morning. the other ones are like smart, but I was still, uh, honestly goofy escapes. Day this day one's day. just full throttle, like Hollywood style. Beat up the guards and run. When they called breakfast time. I got up to get ready, but I didn't go to breakfast till I, I felt I couldn't eat at the time. Hello, Charlie. I hope you're doing well. Your streams are the best after a long day. Thanks. And stay moist. Appreciate the we kind words, Soul Calibur. Thanks for the bits. Hour. Thanks for the tier one Bill Cosby's pudding. And just biding our time. The other men, they all look like deers caught in headlights. Their eyes are all huge. I'm, I imagine mine were too. What is this you don't understand? Their plan is as simple as it gets. Attack the guards. We'll stay behind and seal the floor in the machine room. The acting in this one is rough. One way or the other is going to be over that day. Thanks to the prime box. It's hard to explain, really, but I was going to escape or die trying. Pretty much. George tells me you got, but hey, can you help us with that problem back here with the, the electric room? That's a big guy. I told him when you see me lay hands on the first officer. There's no turning back. It was all or nothing at that point forward. No fucking way they actually break out like this. It's a big man. They have trouble with them. So I'll run back there and... He fought us. Or seven of us. Jesus! Rodriguez. Hits him upside the head. Settle down after that. What?! <laughs> Wait, this is a real prison escape. So wait, these guys actually killed or well, I guess they don't know if we killed if they killed them, but they actually beat the security guard and escaped and took him back to the electrical room. At this point now, it's just what waiting the fuck? for the other officers to come back. Hey guys. We got a problem with this motor. Uh, well, that guy's like 14 years old. Two, that kid's not going to be any help. Times four at a time. Thanks for the reset, Atua. Standing order for the day was just take him down. There's no way they break out like this. They just kept coming back. Oh. Adrenaline was going. Is it tier one trips? At one time, I think we had four of these matches going on. That's a lot of guys to take down. What kind of prison doesn't communicate? Hey, haven't heard from the boss over there at the prison labor different camp. Employees uh, right should we check on him? No. Different ways. There was a couple of instances that, that could have easily lost control in the situation. Hey, Charlie. My sister Alana and I just wanted to say thanks for years of entertaining videos. Uh, is it, all is it not Traves? Is it true? Travis? Several oh, it's definitely fucking Travis. I'm a goddamn idiot. Thanks, man. We went on for a long time. We were fighting for maybe more than that. Appreciate it. Rainy day. What else do I have to lose? Once they took the prime Sunday. control, they were able to get to the key to get to the sensitive tools. Saw blades, cutting torches, oh my like that, god, that this is straight up like GTA. I told Rodriguez, you just watch them and make sure nobody's trying to get free because the electric room is very sensitive, it has a whole bunch of alarms. You know, the alarms go off, one building gets you know, hold of it, they'll call us. Why didn't they steal the uniforms? All right, well, it's not fucking Hitman, they're not just gonna fool everyone and walk around unnoticed just because they're wearing uniforms. But the, the secret compartment, I had everything already cut. While, while, while I was preparing the truck, Michael Rodriguez was assigned to keep an eye on the men that we had stuffed in the closet. And he could hear noises. Appreciate it, TJ. 
one of the officers that I specifically warned the guys about he carried his knife in his boot. They did not check it. We gotta open this door before he sets up. Oh up shit! Hey, Marie. Hurry up, man. It's the bigger budget movie, but watches cake plan sometimes. It is Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. They were setting off the fire alarm. Oh, it's a movie? Oh, okay. I'll check it out, Razor. When the fire alarm signal went off, the employee called out to maintenance. And we started to panic. Newberry puts his foot in between the door jam, gets a car. Ah! He thought he broke his leg. Probably did, yeah. But this could be the point where everything fails. Well, now that the alarm is sounding, oh, I, I'm sure this is probably where it would be most likely to fail. Don't answer. It's a false alarm. A lot of those fire alarms go off when there's too much dust collected in the sensor and things like that. Yes. No, I am a prison guard. Everything is okay down fire. here. Yes. And silence in the alarm. What? So they believed it. But I knew we had to leave. We can only do that for so long. We just took down the whole maintenance shop building. Objective number one is complete. Why wouldn't you check that? Objective number two, take over the back gate house and tower. I called the back gate and the back tower. Identify myself as a maintenance supervisor. And told I'm uh, gonna send a maintenance crew uh, with a couple of inmates up to install the cameras. Okay. The inmates okay. install the cameras at this bye prison? Bye. The fuck? Do they set up the Wi-Fi as well? What the, what the fuck? Why would you have the inmates set up the the cameras? Free labor, yeah, I get that, but I mean, how much could it possibly cost a prison, which has a lot of money, to install maintenance cameras instead of having the fucking inmates do it? Newberry and I had loaded tools and things like this into this gator, and then Revis drove us to the back gate. Good behavior inmates to program? That seems like an awfully big responsibility, though. Because that could directly help them escape. Right? Like, you would think. Newberry and I were unloading the tools and the material. Like, we were really fixing to do some work here. Afternoon. How you doing? I'm all right. More cameras, eh? Yeah, more cameras. I'm gonna put it up in the guard tower. Revis even had Thanks for the reset, sorry, Sarfo. You want a donut? Hey, thanks. And it was offering him some donuts, you know. The fuck did they get donuts? Minutes, Reva said, you know, hey. So I'm gonna need to get up into the tower. No problem. Yeah? That's great. I don't Have yourself a good one. Yeah, you too. <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm not a criminal. I, uh, can I use your tower? Up there. Like the yeah, well, fuck do. yeah, you can. Gate! This was a critical point. Possible failure. If we had somehow forgotten a step in the process, then the tower guard would not have allowed Revis to go into the tower. This was it. Gate! Hello, fellow security guard. I would request access to your tower. Ah, thank you. Imagine if this was an inmate doing this, it'd be dangerous. <laughs> How weird would that be? As soon as I see Rebus entering the tower, I made a phone call. I hope this prison was shut down, because this is embarrassing. Gibson, they ignore an alarm for fucking please. ten minutes. Just let anyone go up to the most Holy critical boy, point in a prison. This Good lord. This is insane and incredibly different from episode two. Yeah. Such a big shift. They're asking for you. And I play the role. And I said, what do you mean? I just left from there. Oh, I don't know. They asked to speak to you. I was just waiting for Rebus to let me know that he was yeah. ready to take over the tower. Yeah, okay. 
then Halpern would signal the guardhouse. That way both takedowns happened at the yep. same time. We had a little code word, maximum, maximize, any, any combination with the word max. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Wow. To the max. Okay, max. What? Stay calm and you won't get hurt. What are you guys doing? Wow. Show me how to open the picket door and vehicle gate. Or I will kill you. Well, the acting leaves a lot to be desired. Get down! I'll open the gate for them. He pulls in. Murphy comes out, he's in a, an officer's gear. It's just a ploy. The kitchen this is and just the laundry were facing. Unreal. So if anybody, any of the officers or inmates were looking, they could see what was going on. So we had to keep it as a routine. This is actually just like Hitman. I take it back. I said this not like Hitman. This shit is going down exactly like a mission in Hitman would. Like the mission where you assassinate Sean Bean. But on a bigger scale. He closed the trap door and we drove off. Driving off, it's it, it, it was it was kind of scary. Thanks to the resub shuckle. I'm in this dark, narrow, small compartment with a loaded shotgun. I'm wondering, are we gonna get stopped? Am I gonna get? Am I gonna come out of this alive or not? Yeah. You know? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Ah I yes. The Lord's prayer. I had nothing else to do. I was like the only thing that came to my religion mind. Religion fanatics. Come, That's the scariest. Earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. After I started for the second time. Just what the Lord wanted. Listen, Harper, were in sync with me. I drove past the front tower without looking back. No gunshots were fired, so all was good. Amen. The Lord hits him with a lightning bolt. Every mile I put between myself and that unit in that prison, I literally felt a weight coming on my shoulders. I sat up higher in the seat. And without getting uh, melodramatic, the air actually tasted differently. That's the dumbest thing I've heard in a while. Thanks to the Prime, Jamie. Control tower to base. Control tower to base. We had a breakout. I don't know how many guys. They're gone. So this happened in the late 90s, right? Or was it the... No, it was 99, right? Hello? I think I remember call, what they uh, said. We've got a 2000? No okay. escape. They're in the process of locking down uh, the prison. This prison is still probably State embarrassed about how this happened. They literally cosplayed themselves to freedom. In. Well, yeah. well, that's not true. They we also brutally assaulted 11 men. Uh, getting called saying they're definitely away in a vehicle. No sense coming down here. I head over to Good the stunt driver. center operations. If you're out there, you're gonna get caught. You can run, but you can't hide. That's the bottom line. It is a Texas-sized manhunt with more concern than ever before. You know, we had air searches going on, ground searches going on. It was very puzzling to us how, how they slipped under the radar. It really wasn't that complex of a plan. Hey, let's beat the guards in the labor room until no more guards come. Then we'll take their uniform and walk around and open the tower or open the door from the tower. Everything there is to know about that individual. You know, just the small things that, that may make a difference later on, that, that had proven to make a difference later on. No, it's not, I'm not saying the plan's a bad plan, it's just as simple as it could possibly ever get. The other two episodes had, like, really elaborate breakouts. And we knew he was leading the group. These people are creatures of habit. Holy shit. 
Thanks to the prime hidden squid. I already had Robin One of them gets a job as a security so guard back at the prison they just broke out of. Much, much bigger. About five to six times bigger than the store I had done back in 93. My plan was to get all the weapons and all the money they had. That's not very so smart. That every dollar we had was another day of freedom. The the I'm gonna go in there first with Larry. We did pretty well in the beginning of We're World First the Raid. Security guards. We're gonna approach the manager with the cuttings that Garcia is cutting up now. We looked through the through the newspaper and there's the this resub fire. perfect assembly of kids in there. If you oh, cut them out you put them on a piece of paper, it looked like a wanted ad of these kids. It's simple. Everyone just do their job and nobody gets hurt. Well, let's do it. This is such a good show. was closing at 6 p.m. I went straight into the shoe department. Rodriguez and Halpern went to the clothing. Newberry went to the sports. I was look out, you know, I was observing what was going on out in the parking lot. At 5.45, Rivas and Harper walk in. Hey there. Hi. What can I help you with? I'd just like to run these names by you. See if any of these kids come into your store. Rebus had the manager call up all employees to the front to listen about these grab and run suspects. All staff to the front desk, please. I was listening to Rebus and Dale on one This is, this, this this is just exactly like a movie, and yet it happened. I can't. I, what the fuck? Right, you guys should take a good look at these faces. Make sure you remember them. I was ready to go. Yeah, it's dramatized, but the events did happen. Maybe not like this. Exactly, but the results and the process was similar. We're gonna be on our way. No problems, right? Me and Newberry took him back to the break room to tie him up. The rest of the guys were outside taking the merchandise. They just fucking successfully robbed a gun store in Texas. The, manager collecting the, rest of the, the fucking money. dogs that are being walked by those people have guns. That is so bold. Go over there, face down. The contents of safe, seventy thousand dollars. Rebus took the manager's car and keys, and as he was going out to the front, that's when one of the customer's girlfriend had saw George. She kind of got a little freaked because he was dressed up like one of these security guys, you know, and he had the pistol. She had never seen this before. So when George came up to her window, it was like, hey, you know, just make sure everything's all right. She just burned off. And at the same time, she was calling the cops and letting them know, hey, I just saw a man with a gun and, you know, some activity going on. Busted. They need to get sorry. the fuck out of there. They're taking literally everything. Copy that. I'm away. I gotta go. See ya. What is up with this scene? Oh. Oh god, does he get killed by these guys? No fu no fucking way. Don't look at me! Look at the floor! Oh god, no, they characterized Hawkins. He's gonna get killed by these guys. Holy I shit! George, I was like, hey, what's going on? He goes, get out! It's time to go! Get out! We still have more people to tie up! Get out! I tell Newberry, get out! Look at the Thanks for the prime, it's time to go. bruh. Go. I come out the door, that's when I hear pop, 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 pop. Oh my god, what the f Fuck! They're here, they're here, they're here. His eyes are all wide. He's How was this not bigger news? I can see Rodriguez is trying to pull him out of the cop car that was blocking our getaway vehicle. He won't come out, he won't come out. He won't come out! Michael, he's got a seatbelt on. If this was 
as big a news as I think it should be, I would have known about it. I would be going on seven. I would remember that. I was just in shock. I couldn't believe what would just happen. Was it huge news? Maybe my parents just kept it away from me, but I was pretty well informed growing up. These guys have lost their minds, I was thinking. My foot, my foot, I said, get back in the trunk. Hey. As he come up on Nevis, he's standing there holding his stomach. He's got blood on his hand, and I'm, I'm going, oh, man. And this felt pain seemed like it coming from everywhere below my neck. Oh. What the fuck is going on? What, what the fuck just happened there? Too. I just can't believe it, you know, it, it just got out of hand like that. We just left the officer who was, uh, I just knew it was dead. I knew it was dead. There was just too many gunshots. Who was getting shot by who? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thanks for the tier one. Suck. We did not come this far to blow our heads off now. No, we don't need to do this here now. Not now. I told everybody. Thanks to the reset cactus. Up. We're leaving. Bullets and broken glass still litter the ground behind the Oshman Sporting Goods store in Erding, where memorials honor Officer Aubrey Hawkins. Uh, I knew that it was them. It was just a uh, holy shit. It was a horrible feeling. It was my job to catch these guys, and the, the, my worst nightmare. Thanks to the prime Slurpee. That a fellow officer was killed. You and know, the because of my inability to catch him. Yeah, you need to completely. I hope that prison has completely been changed because their whole plan was I still we'll just beat day, these guards, and when the alarm sounds, we'll just hope they think it was a drill, which they did, and they didn't even check as the alarm blared. And then they cosplayed their way out. Oh, it was going to be a blood hunt. If they cornered us in Texas, they would kill us. It wasn't until Officer Hawkins' death that the case exploded. It was the largest fugitive operation in the United States. We've gone to a national and, and international operation. Now, you know, we're getting thousands of leads, thousands of them are yeah, coming hey Vince, in. Bobby. We're coming after you, and we're coming after you until we catch you. It's a whole new ball game now. I knew that it was over. Most likely they caught us. It was going to be the death sentence. Yeah, it sounds about right. So now it's just a matter of time. Yeah, Johnson's on that. He'll handle it. A call came in. They had received some information from the sheriff up in Colorado. An individual had gone in saying that they were in a trailer park up there. Ket they uh, pulled idiot. in a suburban and told me that they were looking for a site, uh, which is typical. They told me they were Christian men coming back from a mission. They were from Texas. Thank you. I couldn't believe they were here. I couldn't believe they were all together. And I wanted to make sure that we actually did have the Texas 7. And we got off pretty lucky considering that. Heads up, guys. We're gonna try to get rid of this guy. All right, do it quick. So I went over and, and got Harper and made- This does not look like a guy you get rid of hey, easily. Brother hey, Brother Wade, how are you? Bible study at 10 tomorrow? I am looking forward to it, Brother Wade. I'll be there. 
But as I was doing, I was trying to study his face or anything that might be out of the ordinary. Bro, it's a $300,000 reward. Even if you just think, if it was a group of middle schoolers, report it. You never know. For $300,000 and the sake of saving lives, it's probably worth just reporting anything. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. See you then. I contacted the investigator assigned to Harper. And he said, yeah, he has a, a pinpoint mold. Boss, I think we got one. It didn't show up on any prison records. It was through the interviews that, that this investigator did with the family. Coupled with the information that they were a traveling group of Christians doing Bible study work from Texas. You know, it started looking... God, I have to pee so badly. Oh, I can't hold that. No, I gotta pee. Sorry to blue ball everyone. I gotta pee way too badly. I'll be right back. Crouch. You bend your knees like this and place your feet in the footprints on your spidey mat. Now you try. Good. Since my little spider friend chose you, you must have awesome potential. Let's see if your crawling skills are up to Spider-Man's standards. Start at the corner of your spidey mat from Venom like this. I'll do it once to show you. Just like that. Now I want you to crawl up and down the mat in your spidey crouch position as fast as you can. Remember, Mary Jane is in trouble, so you crawl from Venom to save her. You have to move fast. You'll have 10 seconds to see how many times you can make it up and down the mat. Are you ready? Ready! Spidey crouch. And go! Good job, guys. You at home, how are you doing? Almost there. And stop! You guys showed some serious spidey skills. All right, shake it out. Next is the sling stance. It's one of my patented moves. Place your feet on the sling footprints and bend your knees like this. You extend your arms like this. Sling stance. Sling stance. Good. Try it again. Sling stance. Sling stance. Again. Sling stance. Sling stance. Great. How do we sling webs? I know. Everyone wants the web sling. But remember, it's just pretend. First, you have to master the sling stance. One more time. Sling stance. Sling stance. Sweet. You're going to be superheroes in no time. Let's learn the battle ready position. Put your feet in the battle footprints on your spidey mat and hold your arms up like this. This is the position you'll use to fire off your spidey strikes. Awesome! Teach us the spidey strikes. Lee? I know, I know. Don't we worry, pussies. The teacher's back teachers. in the classroom. You're a quick study. And he's sporting exactly a semi job. The Colorado Springs SWAT teams are in place, ready to go first thing in the morning. From the point I was given Damn, they're the fucking ready for war. I wanted to be able to influence the action. So I didn't want this to get away from me. My primary <sighs> concern was that they would get wind of our presence and would infiltrate into the community and take a hostage. And time was not on my side. Wade Holder had told us that Brother Jim, who turned out to be Harper, was going to come down in the morning for a prayer meeting. There's still 10 minutes or so, so left of this, so they, they don't get them here, do they? If I tell you to go, you got to go. Meet these men with overwhelming force. Wow, they're still here. Okay, maybe they do catch them here. The date started off just as any other in the RV. Patrick Murphy and Donald Newbury were off in Colorado Springs for a few days trying to obtain IDs for us. Staying in the RV was myself, Michael Rodriguez, Joseph Garcia, Larry Harper, and George Rivas. Which is the leader, right? George is the leader. It was very hard waiting because the time that Brother Jim was supposed to come down for his Bible study came and went. As we sat here waiting for Harper, um, and he didn't come down, I told these guys that, look, 
I can go up there and let them know that maybe we ran out of water. We can find out where people are. And I discussed that with him, and I made the decision. Damn, Brother Jim is a tactical genius. Hey, guys, uh, so the Lord wants to know, what, what, where are you guys? Where are all of you guys? Revis came out. I didn't have to knock on their door. Thanks for the prime, Kinshin. I told them that we were running out of water. Hey, and the reset bolt. Brother Jim up yet? He was going to come to Bible study. And I asked him, you know, where Harper was. And he said he had got up a little bit late. No, he was just finishing showering. He'll be, uh... Oh, yeah? Wayne stopped by to see if we were all right. How about you guys? You got anything special planned for today? He asked where the guys were headed to. We're going to go to the town get some parts for the Cherokee. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. They don't see the SWAT officer up there? They, did, they missed that? Left, it was just me and Harper and Brother SWAT team. officer? I made Harper and me some breakfast. Eggs and sausage. I had uh, less than a minute to decide whether to take them with the SWAT team members that were there, not let them leave the trailer park, or let them leave the trailer park and put the mobile assault option in place and let El Paso County take them down. God, that's a cool set of words. The mobile assault option. Reminds me of like Twisted Metal. There were we called in the hunted ice cream, cream truck with the Gatling guns on the side. The rounds would go once the shootout started. I made the decision to let him go and rely on El Paso County to do the mobile assault. Damn, that's a lot of trust. There was a couple things going through my mind. The Texas 7 members have already showed their willingness to kill. They killed a police officer in a very brutal fashion. One of your biggest fears that you face is the safety of your people. And yourself, I imagine. Vehicle approaching. Go! Give us our trespasses. I think that's my favorite passage in this book. Yeah. We had units as close as 15, 20 meters. And as far out as 50. Every opening, every window was covered. God I don't know, damn. Kind of know how, I guess. Make somebody a good wife. This is fucking intense. We're in position. The negotiator begins trying to bullhorn the RV. Come on! No one's been hurt yet. The best thing to do is just surrender. Christ, man. What the hell happened? They got us. Brother Jim. The Lord told them that there were sinners on his property and he sniffed it out. Harper started scrambling, grabbing guns, loading them. I didn't know what to do. Oh, it's ain't fair, Larry. I don't know, Randy. Maybe it is fair. Yeah, it's probably fair. I definitely say. Best thing to do is just surrender. It's over, buddy. Larry came up to me and said, "What are you gonna do?" I looked at him in defeat. I can't hurt anybody. I was gonna surrender. I can't hurt anybody either. Not anymore. What? Wasn't he the guy that lit up Officer Hawkins? It was clear he wasn't going back. Come out! No one's been hurt. Best thing to do is just surrender. After a period of about ten minutes... Oh, do they kill each other? The door opens and Halperin says he's coming out. Uh. I'm coming out! Turn around! I'm on arm! Turn around! I'm on arm! Back to the sound of my voice! You just keep repeating that, back to the sound of my voice, back to the sound of my voice. And then he's put on his knees, he's cuffed, and he's taken away. Harper's inside with, uh, with a lot of weapons. Not coming out, no intention of surrendering. He definitely kills himself, yeah. I heard what was very clearly a gunshot. He had either killed himself or was firing rounds in the trailer in frustration. After about 20 minutes, no response, and we determined we had to make entry.
Yeah, that was predictable. Once the door pop, I threw a stun grenade and Exit the prime squill. Harper was laying on his back in the hallway of the RV. He appears to be dead. Cuff him anyway. I told one of the team members to handcuff him. And in the bathroom, <laughs> he could be faking it. Bible. He's cosplayed before, and now he's pretending to be a dead man. Passage. I'm not so falling for the tricks again. Harper's you parents. won't pull the wool over my eyes. The note essentially apologized for the murder of Aubrey Hawkins. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good of him. Nice. What a, what a good guy. I uh, made that call to the El Paso SWAT team leader to do the mobile assault. The decision was made. We're going to move forward on our mobile takedown. We're going after that vehicle. I pulled to the gas station because I saw a vehicle, a state trooper, parked at the intersection right there in front of the gas station. So I pulled in hoping he would drive off in front of us. George. Ooh, fucking blasted. Thanks to the prime blue. Outsmarted. Our SWAT team had deployed out of the van and taken up positions around this vehicle. I can assure you that deadly force would have been imminent. Out of the car. Hey. We have a weapon! We have a weapon! Down on the ground. They pulled the right rear passenger out of the car. And I hear all the shotguns. Thanks to the reset mold. The submachine guns being cocked. The passenger was moving his fingers like this. And oh I god. To myself, what is this guy doing? Those SWAT Bad teams die. need Maybe to check their crossfire. Better to die. I could see this, you know, death row. I can see it. I know it was coming. Why go through that? You know, I mean, my whole deal of escaping was to be free. It was Ladies like and gentlemen, we got him. We were in this yeah, they're off. fucked. You're not wrong, Fez. They seem like they're in a circle around him. Smile, thanks for the entertainment. Thanks, Alana. The door was pulled open. Another SWAT member grabbed him. Out of the car now! On the ground! Is that all of them? I thought that... No, there's still two more. Heartbroken. I know that I'm going to be dragged back to Texas. I knew I would be convicted and sentenced to death. No, there's only two more. There's three in that car, two in the RV. Uh -huh. That'll do it. Thanks for the prime cash. Thanks for the resub line. Why was Michael Rodriguez killed so much faster than the others? Mr. Hawkins. And then later, of course, Larry. And now Michael Rodriguez. And three other of my friends now are facing death as well, of course. So, of course, I feel responsible for all of them. But the escape itself, on a personal level, I cannot regret. He was the one that actually shot the cop? Oh, okay. I thought the guy that killed himself was the one that actually shot the cop. That was a wild story. That was absolutely fucking wild. If they subbed to twitch.tv slash moist critical, they just might have escaped. Well, don't fucking say that. Those are, those are bad men. <laughs> That'll give the... The stream a bad name. What a show. One is e one's execution is coming up on Thursday. 
Oh, I didn't even plan it as like a celebration or anything. That's wild. Really? That's... No, no way. Hold on. The timing on that would just be spooky. Let's see. They don't have the convictions here. Uh... Well, it was coming up, but looks like they dug up some old tweets from the judge. But yeah, you, you're not wrong. Randy's was coming up. That's crazy. <laughs> Cancel culture's coming after the judge trying to put down this guy. I don't know. I don't know how many people will rally behind you on that one. Cancel culture fans. Yikes, man. That's, wow. The timing on that is nuts. This wasn't like a recommended video or anything as like a celebratory thing or like a, you know, this is coming up thing. This is just, we started the show on episode three and worked our way down. What a show. Thanks for the prime, Mac Fat. I don't know, I can't, maybe I'll watch one more short thing and call it a night. I don't know, that's, that's gonna be hard to top for the night. That was just one... Hell of a fuck.